paper marbling is an art process that reflects the surface of water and the patterns that get created as water moves, like you can see on this lake at the base of a waterfall. For this project, you need paper marbling ink, which comes with a variety of colors, and you need some type of little paint tray to put a couple drops each of the colors you want to use, a couple of little paint brushes, and a dish of water with a drop of soap in it, and also water that's just clear for rinsing your brushes. You'll want to fill your tray with water. I'm using a metal butcher tray, but you can also use a glass container or a plastic container, just something that you can find around the house. I'm going to dip my paintbrushes in two of the colors that I want to try first, and I'm going to really gently touch the surface of the water with my paintbrush. The first couple of times that I deposit pigment on the surface of the water, it's going to be really diffuse. So it's spreading out across the whole surface of the tray and I won't see it that well. The more pigment that I add, the more the color is gonna show up. When I'm ready to try a new color, I'm just going to rinse my brushes and load them up with two new choices of my pigments. I could add the new colors right in the center of the circle that I've been working on, or I can add them somewhere else. can use my little dish of soapy water to interact with my next layer of pigment. So when I add just a little drop of soap, it's going to basically create a line in between these deposits of ink. And that will just end up being essentially a blank space in my final design.
colors that I want to use, I can come up with a couple different ways to uh, create patterns in the surface. So I can use the other end of my paintbrush to sort of draw and get the water moving. I can also just blow on the surface of the water and see what happens. This process is distinguished by a really interesting relationship between what I can control and what I can't control. It's a little bit like watercolor in that way. You can sort of nudge it in a certain direction and then you also just get to see what happens. Once I'm satisfied with what's going on on the surface, I'm going to take a piece of watercolor paper and gently lay it on the surface of my water. I want to start from the center and then press out all of the corners. And then I have my paper marbling print. <laughs> 